Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kum Yasha'ala, Koholoyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekha HaKadash, that were honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say, the water toward the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability, this is Yahweh Waf. just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Okay, so I've um, got this article with uh, K. Michelle, right? She says uh, she doesn't believe the Bible, the Bible's message on homosexuality because people are supposed to be what they want. See, and that's complete rebellion. And rebellion like that, you know, hey, is, you know, it's basically the scripture talks about, let me see if I can get that one real quick. We're just going to read through it a little bit, man, and grab scriptures as we see her make her fault. Rebellion is as witchcraft, I think it is. Yep, First Samuel 15 and 23, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. So, rebellion eh, is like the sin of witchcraft, man, and, and stubbornness is as iniquity and, and idolatry, and that's pretty much what this lady is into. Cause I was reading through the story, you know, she, she, she's definitely bugged out and that beauty is a gift and a curse to your ass, you know, cause she's not a bad looking chick, but you know, Hey, that's not going to get you nowhere and what's to come. Okay. So she says it, is it old? Is it okay for you to kill a person, but it ain't okay for you to be gay. K. Michelle asks her audience online. Well, of course it's not, um, okay to kill somebody or murder. Because that's what that, that commandment is going into. Thou shalt not murder. It says thou shalt not kill. But when you look at it in the Hebrew, it goes off into murder. You can't just premeditate a murder. Now, say for instance, if a police officer, some guy pulls a gun real quick and, and, and a police officer kills him. Is that police officer wrong for doing with his job? No, he's not because he's protecting himself, first off. And... The scriptures talked about how the sword is not given to him in vain. You know, they, 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 you know, that's going off into Romans 13, where it talks about the authorities and, you know, that hey, th those are ministers of the Lord. If he kills your ass and, and because you're a damn criminal and you you trying to and you pulling out a weapon. I don't give a shit if it's a stick, bat, wrench, knife, gun, whatever. If they kill your ass, that's a justified kill by your how about some y'all side. But now if you just like, oh, yeah, I like that nigga's chain. I like his watch. You know, I like the rings that nigga wearing. And I'm going to get down on him, bung, you know, and you and you and you take his life. That's murder. Yes, that's that's wrong. Right. OK, so she says. Um, and also, let's get back. What she said again, it says, is it OK for you to kill a person? But it ain't OK for you to be gay. And, and it's not OK for you to be gay. It's not. I mean, that comes with a with a, 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 a sentence of um, deletion, too. Matter of fact, let's just get it real quick. And your blood is upon your own head. Let me put in. Uh, Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. And that's also womankind on womankind. It's abomination. And that's going off into Romans chapter one for you. People that are say, oh, well, that's the Old Testament. No, it's in, the, it's in the New Testament as well. Leviticus 20 and 13, it goes on to give you a little bit more information. That's why we tell you to go off into the precepts. The scripture talks about precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So here's another one. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, in the ancient days, if you got caught in that act, then, you know, the, the people would, would, would go ahead and delete your ass. But the Lord don't need nobody to, um, to, to, to do anything like that to you. The Lord can easily have your ass be deleted in any kind of way that he chooses. From a car accident to a house fire to a... And you see a lot of them, um, you know, with these, these transformers, they've been getting done up dirty, too. Because y'all rolling up on people, you rolling up on heterosexual men. 
You know, fooling them into thinking that you are real women. Then they get to the hotel room, which you want to see that you got the same plumbing they got. And they go into a fit of rage. And, 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 and there you have it. Deletion. Out of here. Gone. Just like that. Well, let's go back to the article. She said a few things in here. But, um, you know, it's not that long of an article. It says she maintains that homosexuality is not a sin and that the Bible should not be used to judge. See? This, this right here is a demon. She's a damn demon. What do you mean the Bible shouldn't be used to judge? Now, I bet you if somebody tried to kill her, she would want justice. If somebody would try and steal from her, she would want justice. You know? If somebody was to covet her thing, she would want justice. If she has children, she would want her children to honor her like the scriptures say. Right? So when it comes to the scriptures and it affects them, that's when they believe in the Bible. Or they believe those things that are written in the Bible. You see? So it's very hypocritical of her because I'm willing to bet you if somebody was chasing her ass down, she will want help. She's not going to stop and say, well, you know what? It, it, you know, it, you know, um, I'm not going to stop you from um, raping me, graping me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to, you know, give me give me a moment. I'm going I'm to go ahead and just ease down these panties and give you the box. Because why? Because you shouldn't be judged for even trying to do what you're doing to me. She's not going to say no stupid shit like that. Right. OK, so she goes on to say the former love and hip hop Atlanta star, okay, uh, star K. Michelle has once again ruffled fans feathers over another religious per perspective. Now her views on homosexuality are currently trending. According to the singer, homosexuality is not a sin. You're not supposed to be gay in the Bible and you're not supposed to be this or that. I don't believe it. I don't believe the Bible says you shouldn't be gay. Well, we just read the scripture, man. I just don't believe that. So be mad at me. But people are supposed to know what they feel on the inside. She stated during the broadcast. So let's get a scripture on, on, on them on them feelings. <laughs> um, because uh, what it talks about the heart is deceitful. Yeah, Jeremiah 17 and 9, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So them feelings, that inside thoughts that you have, that don't mean shit. Those people think um, 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 thoughts can be wicked, man. Thoughts, you know, you have to you know, even thought, even certain thoughts are sins. You know, roughly paraphrasing the scriptures, man. So let's get that again. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So now let's go into Romans in the New Testament for you people that will say, oh, but that was the Old Testament. Romans chapter one. And you're going to see that this is actually a lust. This is not no love. This is just a this is a lust, a carnal lust of the body, man. A carnal craving. It's a damn demon, a damn spirit on you. Start at verse 20. Let me see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's get verse 23 and change the glory. Let me see verse 22. We can get that too. Let's start at verse 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. See, and their foolish heart was darkened. A vain ass imagine if she's imagining a vain thing and she's going to be destroyed if she doesn't repent, man. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into into an image made like to corruptible man, which is that white Jesus shit and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. So, you know, you see all these different statues and different idols that people put together, you know, and believe in and chant over and, you know, just into idolatry. It says, wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust, through the lust of their own heart. See that that heart is deceitful. That lust, that's lust, man. That's not no love. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever, amen. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. See that? For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What are they doing? Let's, let's read this in the NLT. New Living Translation it says, that is why God abandoned them to do their shameful desires. Even the women 
turn against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relationships with, or relations with women, burn with lust. See that for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this, this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve. So this is New Testament for you Old Testament. You know, you people that's, oh, that was the Old Testament. Things have changed. We're living in a different day and time. You know what you're living in is, 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 is modern Rome, man. Spiritual Egypt, Egypt, spiritual Sodom. See, this is this place is wicked as hell. And this is the, the, these are your influencers. These are the people that people look up to. They'll look up to her because, you know, she's got a pretty little face, you know, with a nice body and shit like that. And she put on little nice outfits and she's on TV and she's an influencer. She's influencing the people to be wicked as hell. That's why, you know, and, and the scriptures talks about a suffer, not a woman to teach. She should be at home with a man raising children, young men to be young men and young women to be young women. You know what I'm saying? And teaching the young women basically how to be great wives. That's what the scriptures talks about. But this place is all out of order. OK. So uh, let me see what else she said. So you're going to tell me that a person that loves somebody in spiritual, you know, see that love. We just we just pointed out that it's lust. It's not love. So you're going to tell me that a person that loves somebody and spiritually feels them because they are the same sex. Now, you know, spirit, that's lust, man. You're going to tell me that person is going to hell. Here you go with that hell thing. There's no such thing as some burning place underground. Hell is a condition or hell is. That story or that fable, the shit that you see in the movies of some red guy and he's got a pitchfork with horns on his head and he's, you know, got these spirits flying around him underground on this fiery lake of fire and all this other shit. That is not in the Bible, man. That's not scriptural. As a matter of fact, if it is, explain this. Let's put this in, right? Ah, it's a lot here in the book of Revelation. Bear with me real quick here. Revelation 20 and 14. Explain this if there's a fiery place underground. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. How is hell cast into the lake of fire? This is the second death. See? And that's going up into that thermonuclear fire. And America is going to be that lake of fire, man. When all them nukes hit this place, man. So there's no such thing as this burning place underground, man. You got to you got to get that out of your head. The hell doctrine. That's not scriptural. That's some shit that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man came up with to scare the shit out of you to give some more tithes and offerings. He wants you to put something towards the building fund. You know what I'm saying? So come out of that shit, man. Anyway, let's get something. What else did she say? She continued. But you can go and kill a person. I don't know where she keep getting this shit from. You know, you can't go kill a person. But you can go and kill a person and take them off the earth and take them from their family and everything. What the fuck is he talking about? The scriptures talks about that goes against that. What do you mean? So really, she's just, you know, silly as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? She don't know what she's talking about. K. Michelle expressed her frustration. You frustrated? She expressed her frustration with how churches have demonized homosexuality while other sins she considered grave receive more leniency well hey all sins are not you know what i'm saying sins to be put to death for so to speak this is just happened to be one of them and it and it completely goes against nature you know what i'm saying i mean it just goes against what the the the, the you know the order of what you how about some y'all put together he said to be fruitful and to multiply two men together can't do that two women together can't do that it's it's it's, it's a vain relationship Right. She says. Uh, but our church is going to tell us that you can kill a person. I don't know what church you're going to that's saying that shit before you can be gay. I'm sorry, but I don't stand on it and I don't believe that. So, you know, the southern churches are going to tell you, oh, no, you can't be. You can't take a life either. But guess what? For us to say that our Bible says we can't be gay. 
but we can kill and there's no sin, she added. I don't know where she's getting that shit from. Anyway, she obviously doesn't know the Bible. <laughs> I mean, that's the bottom line. Most of these people don't, you know. It says, despite other persons around her, despite other persons around here trying to explain how blasphemy is the greatest sin against God, K. Michelle was firm in her belief that gays should not be condemned. Hey, look, man, it, it don't make no fucking difference what you believe. That, see, that's the problem with mere fucking mortals, man. Here you go. You don't know what's going to happen to you in the next three seconds. You know, the Lord can, can do whatever he wants to you whenever he wants to do it to you. And you running around on the planet like you just got the power to just do what you want to do. Don't know what's going to happen in three fucking seconds from now. Just it's retarded, man. Matter of fact, let's get this, though. Don't matter what you believe. You can believe what you want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and the Lord, matter of fact, that's another scary thing about the Lord, too, man. That he'll he'll actually allow you to believe that silly shit and, and, and actually allow you to think that you're right. <laughs> and, and then uh, 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 punish your ass for it. Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. <laughs> Let God be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So all that, oh, I don't believe, I don't believe. It don't make no difference what you believe because the Lord going to show you. I mean, that doesn't stop the scriptures from going forth. I, I don't believe. Get the hell out of here. I'm telling you, man. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord is judging people real cold, man. This is a very dangerous precedent that she's into here. It says, um, what'd she say? No, it's not about my church. It's about the fact that she said no sin is bigger than another. And then you go up in the South and they preach that you can't even be yourself. 11 years ago, K. Michelle Christian faith was questioned when fans noticed a statue of Buddha surrounded by lit candles in one of her photos. So there you have it. She's into idolatry. She's into, she's into vain customs. Or at least from that standpoint, if you worship in Buddha, yeah, you into a um idolatrous uh uh uh, uh thing, man. And, and what does the Lord say about that? The Lord say, hey, he will have no other god before him, man. But a lot, hey, a lot of a lot of people gonna gonna start to see though. They are gonna eventually start to see. This is the Ten Commandments, Exodus chapter one, or chapter twenty, Salakia. Let me just get to the point. Verse three, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Not no fat ass Buddha. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow thyself. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. That's the point right there. It's not like you can't have an image. It's if you're worshiping the image because you have to remember that. Even when the tabernacle was built, so to speak, or when the Lord was telling Moses, giving him the directions as to how to. um, Or the instructions on things to be built, there was cherubims, you know what I'm saying? Um, pomegranates and stuff like that carved out uh, um, um, lions, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature in the temple, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like you can't have an image is that you can't you're not to worship that image. You're not to bow down to that image and make that image into your God. Right. OK, so it says, um, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And she hates the Lord, man. Overall, she hates the Lord because she hate what he's saying. He hate she hates his words. That means that she hates him. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Right. So. You're not to have no other gods before you, man. And the Lord is going to destroy her if she doesn't repent. Because that's, you know, you know, hey, the Lord will make an example out of your ass. He's, he's merciful and long suffering, but he will make an example out of you. OK. Um, the post K. Michelle doesn't believe the Bible messages. On homosexuality because people are supposed to be what they want appeared first on shine my crown okay anyway we don't have to go up into the comments I'm not gonna get all up into that 
We already know some people, they're going to be in there with their white Jesus. All that shit is idolatry, man. You know? Now, if you do break one, one commandment, yeah, you're breaking them all, you know, so to speak. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you, you just stop trying. You have to at least try, you know? That's why we, you know, we try to keep the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. You know, we're, we're, working, we're working towards getting the new bodies, you know, going into the new covenant. Having the law, statutes, and commandments written on our minds and our hearts so that we don't go off no more. That's going to be a beautiful time. But brothers be trying, man. And the Lord knows the heart. He knows what, if you're really trying, he knows that. See, a person like this, she's just in ignorance right now. But how long would the Lord allow her to be ignorant? She's probably got, you know, people, you know, them, you know, she probably, never, even with the white Jesus crap, the people that believe in, in the white Jesus idolatry crap, you know, um, um, got sense enough to know that, hey, no, you're not supposed to be living that lifestyle. But. You know, hey, what can you say? She, she's on that high, on her Hollywood, I'm assuming, you know. And again, she's not a bad looking chick. Let's see what they got here. This is probably another. There she go. Man, I ain't never heard a song by her. I don't know what if she's, I don't know what the hell she into. Yeah, this is all it's about, though. See, this, this is all going on right here. This, oh, see, look at this, huh? This is what she wants you to see. She wants you to check her out. She wants you to check her out. Let's play it. Let's see here. What you talking about? She got 338,000 likes. Baking sweet potato pies tonight. But first, let me play in this camera with my new hair color and celebrate my Independence Day. I officially own myself. No, you don't, you don't own nothing. The Lord owns your ass. And all my upcoming music rights, I can now put out music any time and place I want and own it. I look good and feel good as fuck. Celebrate every win in your life. Dress and skims my night lounge infatuation. Yes, I tripped over my house shoe and still posted it. I look pretty. Don't let it ruin your day. It didn't ruin mine. See, this is this is the type of shit that that that, that people are into. This is the type of stuff that people are into right here. And who knows? She probably know better hell and she probably just done that silly shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to get get trending. Because it, it's saying right here that she's, you know, she's supposedly trending here. Shine my crown. This is where I guess they got it from. Uh, yeah, this is all some old influencer type shit. Is this her? Oh, this is Jada pick. Damn, Jada. Looking crazy as hell, too. Anyway. Well, they didn't show anything on her, but I, I'm assuming this is the article. Anyway, man, hey, you see what it is. Hey, um, this is the days and times we're living in. We all need mercy. Matter of fact, it's 444. Mercy. man. We've all lived lives and done shit, you know what I'm saying? And none of us know if we're the elect or not. That's why we say hopefully elect and we'll pray that we we're part of it, man. You know, we're ready, you know, but you know, you have to work towards it. You still have to do some work, you know, faith without works is dead. You know, so we working, we working towards it, man. We pray that these lessons be edifying so our people can repent, man, and, and, and you know, peer into their lives to repent. And the only way that you can repent is through Yahweh, which is the true name of the father, which means he exists or the existing one. In the name of his son, Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. See, this K. Michelle chick, she probably thinking about white Jesus. Because that white Jesus image, you know, that's a very effeminate picture. It, it gives off a very effeminate, womanly type vibe when you see that picture of blonde hair, blue eyed white Jesus. Our Lord doesn't look like that. The Lord, if he was walking the earth today, he would be a Negro man with a deep voice, woolly hair. No. So dark as if, he, you know, it looks as if he burned in a furnace, you know. So you have to get rid of that white Jesus out of your mind. That's the reason why a lot of people do what they do, because they have this come as you are spirit. That's what the Christian church tells them. Come as you are. The Lord loves you as you are. You can do as you please. You're already saved by grace. All those types of catchphrases that put people in this mindset that you can just be wicked as hell, but still you're saved. That's not the case, man. The Lord going to start knocking people. I mean, he's already doing it. 
He's already doing it. You know what I'm saying? But but on a greater level, you're but it's about to be judgment. That's about to happen in the earth, man, on a scale that no one has ever seen before. Scriptures talks about that. On a scale no one has ever could have even imagined. None of us can even imagine the type of judgment that the Lord is about to bring upon, especially the Americas. Because when we say two, you know, the scriptures talks about two thirds, you know, being destroyed. You know, I got, you know, me speaking as a man, two thirds of those two thirds going to be women. Because there are a lot more women than men. And what are the women running around looking like? Like them pictures we just seen of her. A lot of this in influence shit. The women walking the streets looking like this on a day to day basis. And then so when shit hits the fans and, and things get row row. It's going to be men that's going to be snatching motherfuckers up, man. And, 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 and all that attention that you wanted, you're, you're about to really get it. And it's not going to be in a way that you wanted it, really, for real. So things about to get nasty, y'all, chill. So, you know, hey, repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, side with that. Kwame Yashallah.